Hello, and welcome everyone to our webinar, Connecting to Citizens, a cloud-based approach to enhancing the utility customer experience. I'm Melissa Sider, and I'm the VP of Marketing and Communications here at AST, and I'll be acting as your hostess for the session today. Before we get started, I would like to go over several housekeeping items. First, you'll be on mute throughout the presentation. If you would like to ask a question, you can go ahead and type that into the question box in your GoToMeeting control panel. And once the presentation is finished, we'll go ahead and read the questions back so that the presenters can respond. We are recording the session today, and it should be available on the AST website and on our YouTube channel in a few days. So I would like to uh, welcome today, I'm very pleased to have with me, Amit Ganguly, Vice President of CRM and Customer Experience for AST Corporation, uh, Gauri Borkar, who is a Practice Director with our CRM CX Practice, uh, and I'm very pleased to have some special guests today joining us from Oracle. We have Matt Newman, who is the Director of Public Sector Strategic Programs, and Dave Sticha, who is a Customer Experience Solutions Specialist. So thank you and, and welcome today. For our agenda, we're going to go ahead and do a few introductions. Uh, we'll then turn things over to Matt, who will share some challenges and opportunities that are being faced uh, in the customer experience arena by utility organizations. We'll then go ahead and talk a little bit about the AST solution, and we'll look at a, an actual demonstration of the tool so that you can see how the features and functions of the solution could assist your organization in uh, developing a world-class customer experience for, uh, for your constituents. Uh, and then finally, we'll go ahead and uh, end up with some questions and answers. And um, again, if you do have questions throughout the presentation, please go ahead and type them into the questions box in your control panel. For those of you who may not be familiar with AST, we are an Oracle Platinum Partner and a Systems Integrator. We do have a variety of practices uh, surrounding Oracle application and technology products, including our CRM and Customer Experience Group, which is represented here today. We have a variety of Oracle designations and specializations, and several excellence awards under our belt as well, of which we're um, very proud. Um, also, you can see along the bottom of the screen there, we have won several workplace and um, other awards, uh, which makes AST a pretty nice place to work and allows us to retain top talent. And then finally, you can see in the upper right-hand corner, we were very happy this year to celebrate our 20th anniversary in business. So we've been around for a long time servicing Oracle customers in the public sector and utility industries as well. All right, at this time, I'd like to go ahead and turn things over to Matt, who's going to share a little bit about uh, what we're seeing in the, in the utility industry in regards to customer experience. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, my name is Matt Newman. Uh, I'm the director in Oracle Strategic Programs Group focused on cloud customer solutions. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on in the nation that are putting pressure uh, on utility customer service. Out west, uh, the drought conditions have put the burden on utilities to drive public conservation behavior. Uh, in many regions of the country, uh, utilities are being asked to help customers find ways to lower uh, their utility bills. A common denominator uh, in these interactions is that utilities are being asked not just to provide response, uh, but to try to change customer behaviors. Uh, and to do this requires improved communication ability. Uh, and that's the topic of, uh, of conversation today. One of the uh, more interesting statistics that I've heard recently uh, is that 91% of the U.S. of U.S. adults now keep their smartphones uh, within arm's reach. Uh, Goal-wise, uh, to to improve communications, uh, utilities need to figure out ways to get on your customer cell phones. Uh, one advantage you have uh, as utilities is you have uh, on this mission is you have a very captive audience. Uh, lower, lower utility bills is a priority for your customers, uh, and there's a healthy incentive for your customers to provide their email, cell phone number, social media account, etc., uh, if their costs can be reduced. Once you have the digital attention of your customers, the focus can then shift towards guiding and influencing the, the customer behaviors. Uh, consider yourselves lucky uh, in this regard. Most businesses have to fight very hard 
uh, to get the digital attention of their customers. I know it was kind of difficult, uh, for example, getting you on the call today. One place you'll want to guide your customers is in the area of self-service. Uh, if people need to contact utilities directly, uh, channels like email, text, chat are much cheaper and faster uh, than call-in or walk-in service. Uh, better if you can proactively reach out to your customers on their cell phones with updates and alerts. Oftentimes, these, in, these inbound service requests can be, uh, can be a burden. But, so solution-wise, uh, we have targeted three areas for utility customer service improvement, uh, which work together to provide next generation utility customer service. Uh, the first area is your contact center. Uh, most utilities today simply provide IVR ser service. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to expand your service to include things like text, email, chat, and social capabilities. Uh, the second area where we will be talking today is, is about outreach and communications. Uh, once the emails and cell phone numbers of your customers have been captured, uh, we'll talk about how to use this information to interact, engage, and influence customer behaviors. Uh, and lastly, we'll be talking about self-service capability uh, that can be integrated into your existing website to promote uh, self-service versus call-in or walk-in service. Uh, before I hand it off to Gory uh, for a more detailed discussion of our solution components, uh, I wanted to mention Oracle is the leader in providing cloud customer service products to utilities worldwide. Uh, our team here today is very interested uh, in having a discussion with you uh, in terms of the way we can help you with your digital journey. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I'm Gauri Borkar. I'm the Practice Director for AST, CRM, and CX Groups. I've been working for AST for about seven years, and I've been working with Oracle products for more than 15 years. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of the products and then to hand it over to David to demonstrate the, the features of this uh, solution that we've put together. AST and Oracle have put together the solution specifically for utility organizations. It's a two-step approach that will enable your customers to get the best service using these modern tools. The first step is to basically augment your existing website, and the second step is to implement new contact center software. All utility organizations have multiple other systems that support your functions, for example, ERP systems, billing systems, service, work order management, and safety. All these systems, whether they're legacy, on-premise or cloud can be easily integrated to the solution. No changes to any of your backend systems are required. Using web APIs, the solution can easily connect to your existing applications and provide you state-of-art case management solution to enhance your citizens' experience. Our solution has built-in templates that you can use, and they're created specifically for a utility organization to help enable you to deploy the solution in an accelerated mode. Our experience with cloud products in public center, uh, industry, specifically utility organizations, has allowed us to create this unique solution that will take your customers' experience to the next level. Customers' preferences are changing. Recent studies show that about 52% of the customers typically use as many as three or four channels to interact with companies. These preferences can depend on anything, such as time of day, probably a type of issue, urgency of the issue. It is critical to cater to these customers that are moving across channels about a single issue using their preferred channel. Traditional methods such as supporting phone calls are still prevalent, but our solution allows you to use modern features such as knowledge base for citizen self-learning, chat for immediate interactions, portal for submitted questions, and so also social media tools for your customers that prefer channels such as Facebook or Twitter. It's important for agents to understand the efforts that the citizen has already attempted. Using solution, uh, this solution, agents don't need to ask the uh, citizens to repeat the information that was already asked before. Every interaction with the citizen is recorded, and the agents can refer to that and give a more personalized service to your citizens. Streamlining your customers' interaction has never been more important. 
knowledge is the core component of this solution. It enables consistency of responses and easy access to information. This part of the solution has the ability to assist both your employees and your citizens. For example, if there is a power outage in a certain area and the citizens are looking for an estimated time of resolution, the, the citizens can access your portal, initiate a chat, receive an email or access the Facebook page and get the same consistent message from all channels. The knowledge base allows you to type in exact sentences describing what you're looking for and it can bubble up the best answer based on past customers' experience. Utility help desk agents can quickly create guides and allow for easy step-by-step -step troubleshooting which the citizens can answer their own questions. For example, there is a need to pass a message about conservation of water. Detailed instructions can be passed to your citizen, letting them know the various options. Our solution provides your citizens a robust knowledge base that will allow your citizens to be connected with you at all times. Since the knowledge base is available to them 24-7, um, they can access the information as per their convenience and answer their questions when they need to get them answered. This will enable reduction in call volumes and in turn improve your agent's productivity. Let's now talk about the outreach aspect. This solution will be the hub of all your communications and help you distribute the same consistent information across all channels. Using our built-in templates, you can reach out to your customers about certain events such as an area-wide outage or increase in rates or maybe a need to conserve. This solution also allows you to be able to provide tailored communication for each segment of customers. There are several dashboards that are provided that can help you analyze the reported data and act upon using the marketing aspect of the solution. Say, for example, in certain areas you have frequent outages, and this needs to be addressed. But since it only affects certain segments, you can create constituent profiles and send out specific communications directed to those individual customers. Another example, say, you know, customers have an unusually high water bill as compared to other households. Uh, you can detect this kind of uh, a discrepancy in your uh, dashboards and reach out to these customers and give them tips on helping them with conservation efforts. Now I'm going to hand it over to David to show you a demonstration of the solution. Thank you, Corey. My name is Dave Stitcher. I'm an Oracle Solution Consultant specializing in the Service Cloud solution formerly known as right now. We've got about 15 years experience working with public sector customer service solutions including 311 systems, transit, as well as utilities. So this is the cast for our demonstration of the Oracle Service Cloud today. On the left we have the utility employees and on the right we have three different customers. So we'll show three different customer, uh, three different demo scenarios for these three customers using three different communication channels and fulfilling three very different service request types. We'll see how the Oracle Service Cloud is used to satisfy these customers' requests no matter what they need or which channel they use to, to, to communicate. Now the cast also includes two utility company staff members so that we can view the story from an internal perspective. The first employee perspective will be from a customer service representative perspective, or a CSR. We'll see how the Oracle Service Cloud enables a CSR to provide an outstanding customer experience for their customer while meeting company goals to reduce cost and save time. We'll also include a scenario from the perspective of upper management and how the Service Cloud gives them the visibility to control and manage their customer's experience while maximizing cost savings and gaining maximum efficiency. So here are the four scenarios we'll walk through today. The first three are customer scenarios and the fourth is from an internal perspective. The first shows a dangerous incident that is detected via social media. The second involves a customer reporting an outage but bypassing the contact center and yet still providing a superior customer experience. The third deals with how to leverage self-service to answer 70 to 90 percent of a customer's inquiries without involving the contact center and yet quickly involve a CSR when needed. And the last scenario shows how utility staff all the way from upper management down to the CSR level can benefit from the visibility and control provided by the built-in reporting and analytics. So, so scenario number one starts as so many of our most interesting days in the utility business start with an act of nature. In this case it's a down power line due to high winds. 
or could just as easily have been a broken water main, an equipment failure, or any one of the other 1,001 daily catastrophes that make working for a public utility interesting. Like so many of life's most interesting moments, it seems there's almost always somebody present to capture it and post it to social media. In this case, it's a resident named Chad who lives across the street and witnessed the incident. Chad is a normal human being in that he has the two basic behavior patterns that have made social media so popular. That is, the urge to gawk at a catastrophe and the urge to share it with friends, in this case, on Facebook. The result is that the first indications of an emergency situation usually show up first on social media social media. That's why it is currently the fastest growing customer service channel. It's never going to totally replace phone, email, text, or chat, but it provides a valuable complementary channel whose primary attributes are pervasiveness, visibility, and real time. This means that the ability to detect urgent situations without having to wait for a customer to pick up the phone and call is especially valuable when minutes mean money and maybe even lives. Back at the company office, the Oracle Service Cloud Social Monitor has filtered through the list of Facebook posts in real time and has detected the emergency event. The social monitor can be set up to detect important posts using filters based upon keywords, categories, channels, and even sentiment, which you see reflected in the Smart Sense indicator in the screen. The request is automatically given a rating of high priority and is then routed to a CSR who has a variety of tools available to them to deal with this emergency event. For instance, they can use provided communication tools to reach out to the customer and assess the uh, information through available channels such as Facebook, Twitter, phone, text, or email. They can see which crews are nearby through an ESRI integration and assign the event to the crew best equipped to resolve the incident. They can also escalate this event at the touch of a button to notify management, invoke emergency procedures, and to keep everybody informed and involved throughout the life cycle of this event. In this case, the system uses Service Cloud's built-in rules engine to automatically assign this request to the best available resource based upon geography, experience level, proximity, and skill set. The crew is notified via email and text and the included mobile application gives the assigned field crew and the remote manager access to the incident details from the field in real time. Finally, the service cloud keeps customers in the loop with real-time updates through email, social media, and text. This leads to a better customer experience, higher loyalty, and does away with the need for follow-up calls. Electrical outage. So this is a, uh, a more common occurrence, but it's not necessarily less dangerous. So when lights go out for a customer, Mira Smith, she is, finds herself suddenly without power and without Wi-Fi. Now normally she would have to find a landline phone or use her mobile to call and join the growing wait queue. Then she'd have to navigate her way through the IVR to let the company know that there's something wrong. But in this case, she has another channel available to her, the mobile web. The service cloud includes a customer portal out of the box that is built to responsive design standards. This means that the web self-service site detects the screen size of the device that the customer is using and adapts the display to give the best customer experience. With a single click of the menu button, Mira quickly finds a link to submit a service request. The form that Mira fills out to submit a request is configurable. So it can be set up to, um, for different process flows and to collect different data fields depending upon the request type. In this case, the process requires a customer verification step. And Mira identifies herself through a combination of address, phone, or customer account number. The system finds her customer record based upon this and automatically assigns the request to her. The second step is Vera, uh, Mira verifies her location. The service cloud integrates with mapping solutions such as Esri and uses the device's built-in GPS to pinpoint her location, but it still allows her the flexibility to manually move the pin to locate her location, or even allows her to search for the service across location uh, via address. Lastly, the form has been configured to allow Mira to attach photos or other documentation and to enter additional important information. Mira's note contains critical information about her mother's medical condition that will help the response team assess her situation and mitigate risk to the company. 
Now, usually Miro would have had to navigate the IVR and then wait in line to speak with a live uh, customer service uh, agent in order to impart this, this info. The Oracle Service Cloud automatically sends an outage alert to affected customers that have signed up to receive alerts. Customers can sign up to receive alerts for important outages, uh, sorry, events such as outages, construction, or other important communications. And they can specify how to receive the alerts, including uh, which channel of their choice. The alerts proactively let the customer know what is going on so they don't have to call. Mira receives an acknowledgement email letting her know that the company has received her report, that a crew has been dispatched to fix it, and when to expect a problem to be fixed. The email also contains additional helpful information in case her mother's situation turns bad. And finally, a link is provided so that Mira can check on the latest update and even provide additional information to the company without having to call and create a new request. Scenario three. This is the last customer example, and it's probably not as urgent or interesting as the last two examples. However, it's probably far more, more common. Dave, a utility customer, has a question about his bill. When Dave receives his bill, he notices that it seems a bit high. Now, he's never really looked at his bill before, and the more he looks, the more confused he becomes. He decides to contact the company and notices a URL for the Oracle Service Cloud customer support website and types it into his web browser. He could have, have easily have searched for the, uh, the company's uh, service URL, and thanks to the search engine optimization feature, it would have come up first. At the customer portal, Dave sees a list of the most popular knowledge-based answers displayed in the dynamic FAQ. The dynamic FAQ is a self-learning list of the most helpful answers that typically answers 70 to 90 percent of customers' questions without them having to search, without having to call or email the contact, contact center. Dave clicks on an answer in the dynamic FAQ called Understand Your Bill. This knowledge base answer is helpful, but it doesn't quite answer all of Dave's questions about his bill. As a result, Dave starts a search using the search bar at the very top. Uh, he finds several more interesting answers, but he still has one last unanswered question. Dave is just starting to get frustrated with the search and decides it might be easier just to call the company when an invitation to chat pops up on his screen. The Oracle Service Cloud has been configured to pop up a proactive invitation to chat based upon certain customer behaviors, such as multiple searches. Proactive chat can also be configured to, trigger, to be triggered by customers searching for certain keywords, such as sue or class action, or by clicking on certain answers or even an attribute in a customer's profile, such as who they work for, such as an elected official. Proactive chat provides a way for the utility company to offer a seamless transition from self-service to CSR-assisted service based upon their own internal best practices. Dave accepts the chat invitation, and after just a short time spent with the CSR, he receives exactly the information he needs. The CSR was able to not only answer Dave's questions, but was able to simultaneously help two other chat customers at the same time by utilizing the built chat productivity tools, which include standard text, smart assistant, and guided assistant. Dave ends the chat session happy that he was able to find the information he needs without the help of the CSR and while not having to waste the time on the phone. Finally, let's look at how the Oracle Service Cloud helps the utility meet its corporate performance goals. Gary King, the service manager, is responsible for ensuring that the service team meets or exceeds the corporate goals for customer service. These goals are a very important part of the company's overall business strategy. In addition, Gary's vice president has a personal interest in ensuring that these goals are met. Accordingly, Gary has scheduled a set of real-time reports to be delivered to his inbox on a regular basis so we can spot trends before they become a problem, and he can see visual alerts when certain values exceed his set, set thresholds. The reports he has delivered contain both out-of-the-box standard reports and dashboards, as well as a few custom reports that Gary created using the provided drag-and-drop report designer. The first report that Gary opens is a service manager dashboard, so we can get a high-level view of recent operations and review his team's real-time performance against the company's operational and strategic KPIs. 
In the report, Gary notices that the email, time to resolution, has been flagged for exceeding his threshold of eight hours. In fact, it's over 16 hours. Gary is able to drill down in the report to a level of detail that allows him to identify specific instances where they have failed to meet the KPIs and more importantly, why. Using this, da this data, Gary would be able to identify and prescribe changes in procedure, CSR training, or whatever area that improvement is needed. In this case, Gary sees that the failure to meet this KPI is due to requests related to a recent outage that took longer than normal to resolve. Armed with the specific data to support him, he's certain that he can explain this one-time blip on why he did not meet his KPI in this single instance. Next, Gary opens a dashboard that he put together for his VP, putting in one place a summary of all the metrics that are important to his VP, including a real-time breakdown of service costs per channel. Lastly, Gary runs the CSR performance report for his team. The CSRs also see this report whenever they log in so that they have a reminder of where they are with respect to the team and corporate goals and where to concentrate their efforts in order to improve their score and the team score. Now this report is real time so the CSRs can directly relate their actions and how it affects their goals, offering a positive feedback loop that leads to continuous improvement. The CSRs can also drill down to get their individual dashboard that allows them to have visibility into their responsibilities and helps them prioritize their work in order to be more efficient. Melissa, over All to right. you. Great, thank you so much, Dave. We appreciate the uh, excellent uh, demonstration. At this time, we are, are going to go ahead and open things up for question and answer. So if you do have a question, please go ahead and type that into your question uh, box in your control panel. Uh, some questions came in um, during the course of the uh, presentation, so we'll go ahead and start with those. Uh, first question, uh, is the solution compatible with existing solution, utility solutions, uh, systems, and or portals? And for this question, I'm actually going to toss things over to Amit Ganguly. Um, this, is, this is the type of question generally we always get to hear from our customers. Um, uh, absolutely. This, this solution is actually complement to your existing footprint that you have. So let me give you an example. Um, one of our customers, like they have uh, CCNB, Customer Care and Billing. This application, this solution actually sits very, very nicely uh, along with your CCNB solution uh, if you have and something like that. And it can, it can actually integrate with your uh, existing application to get the data back and forth so that all the incidents can be managed for your billing questions can be managed through our solution. Um, uh, David has showed you um, some examples of the integration with uh, um, uh, ESRI system that is one of the like common application that or positioning application that we have seen for the utilities customer. Uh, we have done the integration with your ESRI systems. Um, portal, this is another, another thing I would like to bring up that you don't have to. Our solution very nicely complement with your portal uh, where you don't have to actually uh, change anything on the look and feel. It, it blends very nicely with your portal. It gives you the seamless integration and it actually gives you the same look and feel with your existing portal. So absolutely, the answer to your question is that the solution is comp compatible with your existing uh, application that you have uh, on, in your uh, landscape. Melissa? Okay, thanks, Amit. Um, so next question. How long will it take to implement the solution that was demonstrated? Well, um, should I take that, Melissa? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. So um, this is, this is um, definitely what we have done. We have actually built our solution to accelerate your deployment um, timeline. Um, generally, to be um, a typical guidelines that we have, it's about like, 12 weeks to 14 weeks um, to implement the solution. 
but every as you can understand that every single customer environment is different um, we can definitely work with you understand your requirement if there is anything that needs to be tweaked to our solution we can definitely our solution is actually very flexible and adaptable to any customer requirements and we can bring in the right solution to uh, to uh, solve your solve your business requirements that we have we out of the box the solution can be implemented into 12 to, 12 to 14 weeks okay Melissa. thanks Hamid. Uh, next question, uh, is it possible to deploy the solution in a phased manner with only the web portal at this time and include other components down the line? Amit, do you want to tackle that one? Yeah, I can definitely take a shot at it. Um, yes, we have done that. Uh, we have implemented the solution in a phased manner. Um, in a customer where uh, we implemented the portal, something like a knowledge base. Um, Gauri and David mentioned about in our during our solution there is a knowledge base component to it which is actually gives a tremendous boost to your FAQs and um, all the incidents that are being reported uh, it actually cuts down the number of incidents so we can definitely for example I'm giving an example that no knowledge base can be incorporated the solution can be incorporated into it into your existing portal um, there is a functionality called chat functionality uh, there are customers that we have implemented chat functionality where um, to provide them the multi-channel uh, ability uh, the customer doesn't have the chat facility we can just implement the chat cloud part of the, your solution part of your footprint um, so Definitely, it can be implemented in a phased manner, uh, depending on your uh, priorities, depending on your business need, and depending on the gaps that you have on your existing footprint, we can definitely come up with a roadmap that meets your business needs, and we can implement in a phased manner. Okay, Marissa? thank you, Amit. Uh, the next question, uh, is your solution compatible with all mobile devices? I'm going to actually toss this one to Dave. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, actually there are um, both applications, so apps to be downloaded as well as uh, browser-based solutions can be used on mobile devices. And that applies both to uh, the employee-facing side as well as the customer-facing uh, side. Thank you. All right, again, just a last reminder, if you do have a question, go ahead and just type that into the questions box in your control panel. All right, it looks like we have no further questions. So at this point, um, we'll give you all about 20 minutes of your day back. And thank you so much for joining us here on our webinar. If you do have follow-up questions, you can reach out to us at info at ASTCorporation.com or at the number located on your screen. And again, check back uh, to the AST website.